All right, in this video, we're looking at different properties of equality for the most part. You should really look at those in your textbook. Uh, I'm not going to write them all out here. We're just going to kind of figure out how we know which it is. So this first statement, 5x equals 40, we then get x equals 8. So how did we get that? We basically divided both sides by 5 to achieve this. So this is the division property of equality. And I'm going to abbreviate here. Um, property of equality. If AB equals CD and CD equals EF, then AB equals EF. This is sort of a textbook example of the transitive property of equality. Sorry, I'm not writing very well right now. Transitive property of equality. So that's anytime you see this sort of setup where if this equals this and then that equals something else, then setting that up, you're going to look for that. If X equals 3, then 2X plus 3 equals 9. So X uh, is basically we're subbing in uh, instead of x, we're putting 3 in there, so it's 2 times 3 plus 3, so that's the substitution property. And the substitution and transitive are often very similar. Sometimes you can almost interchange them. I guess the key thing is the transitive usually has that if this equals this and this equals that, then this. The substitution is like, you know, this number is going in and replacing something. But they are, you can argue that in some ways they are similar. All right, if 9x plus 7 equals 51, then 9x equals 44. We pretty much subtracted 7 from each side to achieve this. So we would call this the subtraction property of equality. AB equals AB. Um, this is just we should know as the reflexive uh, property of equality. And think like reflection, like if you're looking in the mirror, you see the same thing. Might be a way to remember reflexive. Uh, if M a measure of angle A equals the measure of angle B, then B equals A. This is known as the symmetric property of equality because just you're flipping it. It's the same on each side. Uh, 4x minus 2 equals 16. Then 4x equals 18. We did that by adding 2 to each side. So this is the addition property of equality. Um, in this case, we've kind of gone over the 3 is being multiplied through both terms. So that is just the distributive property. And that's not considered the property of equality, but it's just the distributive property. And then if x over 3 equals 16, then x equals 48. We did that by multiplying by 3 on each side. So this is the multiplication property of equality. Um, so again, it's just going to kind of practice with these if you want to take the quiz on Canvas a few times until you get the hang of it. But you should be familiar with these. Most of them are like the four major... Um, Addition, multiplication, subtraction, division. The four major operators are, you know, half of them. And then the other one you just got to kind of study over and make sure you understand. So that is it for properties of equality. Till next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.